Good afternoon, hello, welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel and welcome to race day. I'm at Darlymore Sports Centre at a crit race. I know what you're thinking, Daniel, you said you were gonna focus on triathlon this year, and I am in terms of training, but some of my buddies are doing a crit, so who am I to say no? The event today is organized by, by House Race Team. I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below. They're also organizing several other crits here in the next few weeks and over summer. So if you're interested in crit racing at Darlymore, please do check them out. There are other event organizers holding crits here as well as that, but I'll just let this one today so feel free to check them out elizabeth is also here good morning Hi. elizabeth you okay just having a cup of tea yeah and your new flask what a <laughs> treat um you are preferring the crit time uh, crit start time times over triathlon start times aren't you oh yeah nice leisurely start just what i like so our race starts at quarter past 12. now bike setup i have made a fair few changes to bike over winter but i'm going to cover this in a separate video but in a nutshell it's your standard crit setup no bottles fast tires tubes etc slammed front end with some turn in shifters etc but we'll cover that in another video what i do also want to point out is i've got permission for cameras on bikes today and that front camera is new and that is courtesy of nrg so nrg chains who supply me with drive trains asked me a little while ago what would help me this year and i said well another gopro behind it I've got an older one that I used on the bike and it wasn't quite the same colour as the new one, etc. etc. So they very kindly bought me a new GoPro. So thank you very much, NRG. Genuine actual support has really helped me deliver these videos. So if you're looking for a wax chain for the season and the race season is quickly approaching, please consider looking at NRG. And then I do have a discount code for a waxed race chain, which gets you 10% off. And I think the discount code is TRIDAN, but it'll be in the description down below. We're ready to rock and roll. Also taking part, we've got uh, Lee Tunnicliffe. Good morning, Lee. Morning, Lee. I'll leave me hanging. You okay? Right. You alright? Yeah, no, no, welcome to them. So you guys might remember Lee from 24 hour time trial championships, Red Bull time lapse. Yeah. Via Dog Jelly. Bowl. Dog Bowl saga, <laughs> yes. Uh, you've been on this channel a lot and we are racing today. Yes. Is this the first No, we raced together at Harvey Haddon last year, didn't we? Yeah. I wasn't much used to. Uh, today we are in the third and fourth category crit and you've not raced here for many years? Uh, last time was the corporate games in 2019, I think. Oh, okay, that's all right. How'd you go on then? One. Okay, so just do the same again today, please. Yeah. <laughs> so, third and fourth cat crit, and there was a fourth cat race this morning, which means that the third and fourth cat's probably more thirds than it is fourths. There were 65 entries up until midpoint this week, and then they are taking entries on the day today, so it's going to be a big race lead in terms of numbers, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, but, you know, just plenty, plenty more bunch to hide in, I think. Exactly. We've got a plan, though. There's there's Lee and myself and Dean. Uh, Matt was supposed to be coming, but unfortunately he's unwell. Dean and I are going to try and get in the mix, and then we're going to try Lee and help you out if it does come to a sprint. And now I, I don't rely on us too much, but, <laughs> but we're going to give it a good go. Hard to know, yeah. We, you, you can't really plan for these things because you don't know who's here and what it's going to be like, do exactly. we? Exactly, yeah. There is another local team, Velo Bavaria, and you'll see me do quite a lot of content with them. I was trying to look for the van, I can't see it. Um, they've got six riders in today's race, so eyes on them really to, to see what they do in terms of controlling the race and I'd love to stick it to them mm. so that's, we're going to get stuck in aren't we yeah it was actually 2018 when I was oh, here was last it? I had an unfortunate accident in 2019 didn't I in France oh you did <laughs> yes yes James Simpson kindly told that story for us yeah. okay 2018 alright well no pressure I'm sure we'll do the same today yeah right let's go Lizzie you ready for your video dudes already let's go Right, so this sort of thing, I give Liz lots of jobs. She does videos, she does pinning my number on, she does giving me food to drink, all that sort of stuff. Liz, what are you currently working on? Psyching people out. And how are you doing that? Just glaring as they go past. <laughs> <laughs> Good teamwork, Liz. Good teamwork. <laughs>
good one. I said to him on that last lap, I'll keep it moving, mate. That's all I can do. And then I got swamped. I was like, oh, see you later. <laughs> Oh my god. I thought mate he was gonna get away about what like eight or so laps. I thought I Me. Thought, oh, no, god. the lad in the red suit he went off. Oh yeah, yeah. And then I thought the few got to him, yeah. I thought that was gonna stick. We got in a little group and there was two Vela Bavarian guys and I went with them and I thought I'm not even pulling through because there's two of them. So I sat on the back and they weren't even working together, so we got some, but that, that was the closest we come. The average 27 mile an hour. So how the hell is any group gonna get away and stay away? It's just not gonna happen. Okay, back home now, quick post race D brief it's quite late on saturday evening that race really took it out of me the cold the intensity i've been on my backside since then i actually had a nap for about an hour which is is good i think my final statement on that little post-race interview was probably a good a good statement about the whole race it was just so fast and because it was so fast and nothing really got away in terms of breakaways however myself lee and dean all got involved all got stuck in in terms of results None of us won. Lee was just outside the top 10. I think he was 11th or 12th. And Dean and I were at the back of the bunch having done our work earlier on. Um, I'm really happy with how I performed. After going into it, being a bit full of doubt, to be honest, I wasn't sure how it was going to go. Um, I haven't got all the data from the race because the Wahoo dropped out for a few minutes near the beginning of the race. But I'll leave the stats on screen. It was just over an hour. I've normalised like 350 something watts and there were some pretty big surges in there. But I felt, didn't say good throughout, I felt like it was really hard. But I was going with a lot of moves, I was trying to get away, I was riding hard, staying near the front as much as I could, you can probably see from the clips earlier, it was a big race, there were 70 starters, that's the biggest field race I've ever been in, and that was a real eye-opener, you had to stay near the front if you wanted to be able to go with stuff, if you were on the back, sometimes it was easy, sometimes it was still just as hard as being near the front, I didn't quite like being in the middle, so I just made an effort just to stay near the front, that was a good workout. Well done to you if you took part in the event. If you took part in it and you got dropped, don't worry about it. That was a super fast race. We averaged 27.2 miles an hour. And for those that speak in a foreign language, that's 44k an hour, something like that, which is pretty fast for a crit race. So uh, yeah, that, that was that was pretty hard. The E123 race after us only averaged 28. So that was only a little bit faster than our race, but of course the attacks would have been bet, bet, bet bigger. So yeah, really happy with that. Um, we're going to be doing a few more of these this year and I'm sure we'll get some success and we'll have some bad days so this is just another one of those of somewhere in the middle. Good to shake off the uh, the winter rust and get a race day under the belt. Uh, good to see Vela Bavarian out in numbers as well. I think I said this to Luke, the team manager, and JV afterwards as well. I find it really good having a few teams now. So there was um, Beeston, I'm trying to look at the screen, who else was there? And a few of the little, and Villa Bavarian, a few of the little local teams that are starting to ride as a team, and ourselves included from South Normanton. And it adds another dynamic to the race. Rather than just having loads of individual people all racing for their own resort, there was another dynamic to think about. Whereas there was one time when um, there was a small breakaway slightly up the road, and I did a bit of work to try and bring it back. And then I was flicking the elbow, and to be fair, the guy behind me said I can't or something like that and it was another Vela Bavarian rider so he's thinking about his team tactics and he's not going to chase his teammate nor kind of cycling so I like that um, but we need to be realistic there were third and fourth cat races so when the race finishes we're all still fist bumping and talking about having a great day because we're all there for fun aren't we so yeah really enjoyed it I'm going to be uh, bleeding this one dry over the next week or two in terms of some race content so I'll do like a commentary video and I might even pull out some little bits from it as well because I was quite involved and it's good to get some good content out of it so hope you enjoy thank you very much for watching if you haven't already please do hit the subscribe button down below thank you Liz as well for coming and supporting me and keeping me warm afterwards because I was in a bit of a pickle and I'll see you tomorrow at one o'clock for the bike ride, I think. See you there.